What's up, Piper Drivers? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a reaction video for you guys for Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 6. If this is your first time here on the channel, I do reactions to every single one of the Mandalorian episodes on Wednesdays. And then on Thursdays, we do a live review of the episode. So if you want to tune back in tomorrow to our live review, it's going to be me and the guys. And it's a safe place to just share all the spoilers and talk about it and just hash out the whole thing. So if you want to come hang out with us, again, that's going to be happening tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. So the last episode of Mandalorian kicks off with the poor people of Navarro being attacked by pirates. Grief Karga sends a distress message to Carson Teva where we get a badass cameo of Zeb. And then Carson Teva heads out to warn the New Republic who just continue to suck. I mean, it's no wonder the First Order rose from this. On a side note, Carson Tiva is awesome. They just need to give this guy a real cool dogfight scene. You know, maybe coming in as Mando's wingman in some kind of epic battle. And he would be my new Wedge Antilles. Since Carson isn't getting any help from the New Republic, he heads off to the planet where the Mandalorian's at. And then the Mandalorians all band together to go save the people of Navarro in one epic dogfight scene with a street battle, which was sick. By the way, this season is killing it with the Top Gun dogfight scenes. After they save the city, the armorer calls Bo-Katan in for a meeting and does something that I don't think anybody ever expected. She asked Bo-Katan to remove her helmet. What? I kind of thought the armorer was going to remove her helmet afterwards. It was going to be like, you know, show me yours and I'll show you mine type of thing. I'm really hoping that armor is root cast. I think that's what I was really looking forward to, but that didn't happen. Anyway, instead she leaves Bo-Katan helmetless in front of all of the other Mandalorians, which had us all like... What? But yep, that's just how that went down. So bo now meant to bring all the Mandalorians together. In the final moments, we catch up with Carson who has found the Lambda shuttle that was transporting Moff Gideon into trial. And the Empire, <coughs> I mean the New Republic, is covering it up. But they do find a shard of Beskar on the ship, which leads me to think two things. Either one, Moff Gideon has a band of Mandos that's with him which is going to lead to the whole thing of bo trying to bring the Mandalorians back together. And then I think she's either going to get captured or there's going to lead to some kind of civil war between these Mandos that are following Moff Gideon and the Mandalorians that are currently with, with Din. I think that's probably the more likely thing. But it could also mean that Moff Gideon is just doing another deception type of thing, right? You know, he always does this kind of stuff. So it may just be that he left the shard there because he knew it would be found and then leading to the New Republic going against the Mandalorians. That's also a likely cause. But that's everything that happened in the last episode. It's time for this episode of The Mandalorian. Looks like we're in space. Got some awesome looking alien ship. That looks dope. I like the design of that ship. That is pretty cool. Okay. Huh. Did not expect them to be like that. They travel in pods? I guess that was kind of like a recharge tank or something. Damn, I love that ship. That thing is pretty cool. Oh. Finally gonna see Moff Gideon? Who is this? Oh. We are Mandalorian. By a certain Mon Calamari Viceroy who has reason to believe you absconded with her son. Wow, that's interesting. Don't make us damage your girlfriend's pretty little ship. <laughs> Cap, please. Talk to her. You have to go meet her. No, I love you. That's crazy. I thought Mandalorians were honorable. We are kid. All it takes is a few credits. <laughs> That's interesting. Usually those two species are at war with each other, so. Guns for hire. Oh, that's nice. Planet is this? The heck is that? Okay. 
city's pretty. Welcome to Plazier 15. Please proceed to your hyperloop. Huh. This is not a request. <laughs> I mean, the planet's underwater? No, it's not. Okay. This kind of reminds me of this planet that I went to in uh, in the Old Republic video game. Come. <laughs> Jack <laughs> Black? <laughs> I hope you like the creation. <laughs> Could I perhaps hold the baby, please? He doesn't take kindly to strangers. <laughs> My baby don't have ADD. He just likes to jump around a lot. <laughs> don't trust this guy. We have a problem. Yes. A good problem. Obviously. The Mandalorian garrison outside your city walls can make quick work of your battle droid. That's the city. What? Our trotter forbids any standing army from entering our city. Our constables aren't even allowed to carry black. They are. You see where we're going here? It still makes no freaking sense. You want us to eliminate your... There are Mandalorians that are outside, too. Yeah. I knew you would. What do you think? You had me at battle droids. <laughs> <laughs> These droids were always programmed to serve the community of the stockpile. Some captured it. Oh, my God, man. Look at this. Yeah, that didn't work. This fits him better. Glad they didn't put him as uh Oh, battle droids. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be uh that evil 3PO droid. Uh oh, that ain't good. <laughs> That's awesome seeing Christopher Lloyd again. Friend of Ugnat Quill, you will answer our questions <laughs> and help us with our task. I have spoken. <laughs> I have spoken. Nice. Here are the locations of the droids you seek. Thank you. We are in your debt. I have spoken. <laughs> Every time they say that, it'd be kind of dope if we see Triple Zero down here. <laughs> oh, this is a restricted area. You just checked out. They were. Yeah, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> then this shouldn't phase them. Toma. Uh, <laughs> oh, recertified, huh? <laughs> I droid could run. I don't think I've ever seen a battle droid, super battle droid run, or any droid run. Damn, that was dope. And there's an address. Convenient. Is really not helpful. I figured out which one was malfunctioning, didn't I? <laughs> a droid bar. Hmm. Oh yeah, I remember this from the trailer. We don't serve your kind. <laughs> Nobody leaves. Hmm. Okay. And it is a three PO drop. What if that's triple zero? Horrible incidents continue, we will be. You'll be what? There are concerns among my customers that... These are the remains of the latest malfunctioning droid. All right, let's see if they give us a reading. It's kind of weird they have like a droid morgue. Chances that they're still active. Highly active. Nice. Pull that dark saber out. They're still active. <laughs> <laughs> These are 
I like these two together. <clears throat> oh. Commissioner Helgen. So Christopher Lloyd's a bad guy. Everyone freeze. If I trigger this failsafe, it will convert the planet's docile workforce back into battle droids and unleash them upon the unsuspecting citizens of Perdir. Count Dooku was a visionary. He was cut short at the... <laughs> Talk too much, boy. <laughs> Politics. Despicable. Quaxa calling the stiffling slimy. Huh. I beg you. That's really a key. You will always be welcome. <laughs> Made him a knight? For what? He didn't do anything. You are now a knight of the ancient order of independent regency. This episode is very, very Disney esque. Wizard of Oz almost feel to it. Then I challenge you. This may start you to get good. Man. Mm. Damn. Mm. 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 Man, she could take a hit. Ooh. Oh, that was dope. Mm. And that Mandalorian blood has been spilled by her own hands. A misguided zealot possesses the blade. One, I might add, who has not one drop of Mandalorian blood in his veins. Din Djarin took the creed and chose to walk the way. He is every bit. The Mandalorian that they were. But according to our ways, the ruler of Mandalore must possess the dark saber. Then she shall have it. I gotta fight? While exploring Mandalore, I was captured, and this blade was taken from me. Oh, they're explaining that. She defeated the enemy that defeated me. Would this blade then not belong to her? Mandalorian reasoning right there. <laughs> so he's giving up the Darksaber. Ah, this whole season is going a whole other way. I can't say that I love this episode. Probably my least favorite of the of this uh, season. Um, the the episode just felt very felt very very Disney like. You know, very comedic. Um, it was it was fun. It was a fun episode. I'm not gonna say that I didn't like. I hated the episode, but you know, just we spent a lot of time chasing down this whole lead. Christopher Lloyd is the bad guy. You know, very much reminds me of like Who Framed Roger Rabbit kind of. <laughs> uh, it it uh, it was just it, it was a little too uh, too much in that direction, in my opinion. Um, and then you had that end battle there at the end, which that part was kind of cool, which is what I really wanted to get to was, was finding out what, how they were going to uh, bring more Mandalorians. And, um, I just didn't expect, you know, then to give up the dark saber, you know, I was, I was really hoping that the story would be more about him eventually getting to lead, uh, the Mandalorians or, but I guess that's not really what his story is supposed to be. So I, I don't, I'm not totally against, uh, Bo-Katan. A, a becoming the leader it just this is not playing out the way that i expected it you know to be like i really thought this was going to be more of a uh the two of them against each other type of thing and it, it turned out not to be so um favorite parts of the episode were probably the end battle there between axe and, and bo -Katan. i think that was pretty cool uh and then seeing the battle droids was pretty dope too i thought that was really neat also um but um otherwise you know kind of just a, a filler in my opinion uh but anyway we'll hash this out tomorrow let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below and until next time may the force be with you